couple of years ago, I was shooting a TV show in, uh, in Chicago at O'Hare Airport for the Travel Channel with uh, Kurt Menefee and Catherine Takis and uh, Susan and John Matthew and a bunch of other wonderful people. We were staying at the uh, O'Hare Hilton Hotel. My room was on the 10th floor overlooking the whole airport. I had uh, uh, recently, uh, just before then, discovered meditation in particular, a piece of meditation, guided meditation music from uh, the incredibly um, uh, gifted soul, Dr. Wayne Dyer. And uh, he had collaborated with James Twyman over uh, for this um, guided meditation music based on the Moses Code. We had a we we would have one day off every week on the Sunday, and I had um, a wonderful chair in my room. That was the perfect place to sit and and uh, and breathe and meditate. And um, nice light was coming in from the west. Um, had windows pretty much all around, all the way around, and uh, I spent 40 minutes meditating, and had um, <clears throat> excuse me, come out of the meditation, and as if being guided by a greater spirit, I went to the window that overlooked O'Hare Airport. It was probably, you know, maybe half half a mile away. So. I could see all the movement and the planes taking off and the movement of the the airport, uh, the machinations of the of the uh, the uh, airport, and like lightning, this vision for these series of children's books. Actually, it was more of a TV series. This vision for this TV series and characters was just coming at me. It was the most surreal experience, the most creatively uplifting, empowering emancipating experience I've ever had in my life as a creative person. The characters were just so vivid and clear, uh, the story, and so I, I furiously wrote down notes and uh, decided that I wanted to write a, a, a two or three part book series first before I turned it into a, a TV series. It's part Jonathan Livingston Seagull and part Thomas the Tank Engine, but it's uh, essentially it's an inspirational tale for children probably between the ages of five and 13, maybe five and 15. It's the idea that we, we can do anything. And I think children need to, need to know that, that, you know, their dreams are important. And uh, it's, it's not every, not generally a lesson that we, we uh, remember or, or we, a lesson that we get taught as uh, as children. I've only recently recently believe uh, rediscovered this and and firmly believe that um, we can do anything. And I tell that to my children. They say, "Well, can we fly?" I say, "Look, I don't know. Maybe you can. Maybe you can. Um, uh, you know, if if you believe believe in something with all your heart and and all your spirit, then I think anything's possible. So the books are, are based on that theme of, of really inspiring children. I, I, I am a, an airport or airplane nerd. I love, I love the big jets. Part of the inspiration was, um, was meeting a, uh, a fellow at Chicago O'Hare called Oscar, who, uh, that's my son's name as well, who has worked at O'Hare for 16 or 17 years and is is a genius at the airport. He would, would drive me to these incredible spots around the, 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 the runway and we, we just shot the most beautiful images of these incredible jets taking off and landing at, at what is, they say, the world's busiest airport. And um, it was magnificent. Travel in, an, in of itself, air travel, is, is a dream that someone had dreamed up many years ago. And when you think about getting on a plane and, and going on a holiday to a faraway destination, it's, it's really, in a, in, if you'd told someone that a hundred years ago or, or that, that you, you could do that in a jet, like a 747 or an Airbus A380, they would have hung you. The, the purpose of this video is that I, I'm, I'm looking for an illustrator to collaborate with. 
I'm also looking for some kind of crowdfunding because I want to self-publish these books and then get them turned into the TV series. But I, w I would like to find the right illustrator who can bring the same level of passion and creativity for this project that I have for it, uh, for some kind of royalty in, in the books. Um, and I'm hoping this video will help find that right person. Thanks for listening. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers. Bye.